Hi guys, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the final video in the to-do list clone using React and Django. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and finally start working with marking the to-do as completed. That's what we're going to be doing. Do make sure to drop a like because it's just subscribing as it will mean the world to me. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up my code editor as usual and just over here that we created the delete to-do, it's going to be exactly like this one. All right. So you can even go just go ahead and copy and paste if you want to do that, or you could you could just go ahead and type out the code with me from the beginning. So I'm gonna say const and let's call this one mark to do as completed or complete. All right, and over here you also still want to pass in the to do underscore id. So you know it's a function, so you want to pass. You also need to pass in the arrow and the parentheses or the the braces. All right. So after we've done that, we simply want to grab this um, same API over here, but this time around, this one is going to be simple. Okay, let's see. I think we have an issue over here. Um, I'll wait. Let's see what's going on. So we have const mark to do as completed. Okay, yeah. If you want to use await, that means you need to pass in async or the await is not going to work. All right. So instead of passing in to do detail, remember what we called that one. It's called to do mark as completed. All right. So make sure you pass in to do mark as completed over here. And we still need the same things. We need the same user ID and to do ID. That's why we're passing user ID and to do ID over here. So after we've done that, let's just still call SWAL and get the updated list of the to dos. So I'm going to say something like to do completed. Or you can say something like to do marked as completed. To do completed, all right? I think that's simple. Then I'm gonna put success and leave out the whole things and we get updated to do. That's pretty much it, we are done. Let's just go ahead and pass in the mark to do complete as completed over here. So remember this thing that we have over here, this on click, just copy it is the same thing and paste it in here. But instead of delete to do, it's gonna be mark to do as completed. And we still pass in the to do the ID. So right now, if we get back here and refresh this page and click on this, nothing is going to happen. You're not going to see any, any change. What we want to do is this. When we mark a to-do as complete, let's try it out. I think that makes more sense, right? But for us to do that, we need to write a simple conditional statement over here that's going to be able to do that for us. So how do we go ahead and write that simple conditional statement? Let's say to do to do dot completed dot to string dot to string is equal equal to true and we display the, the to do over here so what does this mean so this pretty much means if the to do completed is true then display this to do over here but don't just display the to do we want to strike it out so strike all right we strike it out how about the to-do is not completed how about the to-do is equal to false the to-do completed is equal to false then we don't want to show the strike thing all right so this is very simple now we say the to-do dot completed dot to string so if you don't pass into string this is this is gonna still go ahead and get the main boolean value so if you pass this to string that's why we are able, we are able to put in false in a string like this if you don't pass in the to string, then do not pass in the string in the false. All right. But that's not going to work. So using string will be better because when you get data from the API, they all come in value and keys or keys and value, keys and value. So there's going to be key and it's going to be value. And the value that we're getting for the completed from the API is actually a Boolean. But over here, I pretty much converted it to string. And also over here, I got it last string because if you take a close look at this, here, I'm gonna get back to the console. I'm gonna open this up. And if you take a close look at this completed, this completed over here, I don't know, for some reason, I'm getting this as string after inspecting, I got it as string. So that's why I actually had to convert this to string and and passing the false as a string instead of the Boolean field that it is, all right? So let's see what's going on. I'm gonna mark this as completed. Okay, it's still deleting the to-do. So let's see what's going on. Mark to do as completed, to do marked as completed, user ID, to do ID. It says to do completed, but it's not supposed to delete the to do, all right? It's removing the to do 
I'm going to, I'm going to refresh that again. Okay. Wait, what we are actually getting over here is it only to do that and all marked as completed. I think that's really what we are getting, right? Let's check out the view and see what we wrote for the, what did we write for the to-do list view? To-do list view. We said to do the object of filter, user is equal to user and return to do. So why are we actually, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and, and um, let's refresh this page just one more time. Let's see the to do's over here, how they are completed is true. For this one, for the hello, completed is false. And we are not able to see this to do over here since completed is false, which means there is actually an issue in the to do list view. So what's going on? I'm going to open up this to do and we have this completed over here. Um, let's check this out in serializer. We also have completed over here. Um, what could be going wrong? We're not supposed to, we're not supposed to remove the to do from the list. We're just supposed to, when we delete here, we know the to do is gone. It won't be in the database any longer. Let's check out the database. Oh, 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 there is an issue. There is an issue. So right now the mark to do has complete that is deleting the to do and that doesn't make any sense. So let's get back to the URL and see if there is actually an issue. So mark, this is the API endpoints that we called. This is detail. This is mark as complete. So in does mark as complete delete the to do? No, it's not supposed to delete the to do. Oh yeah, that's the problem. So back to our to do. See over here, we are calling API dot delete. That doesn't make any sense. We are, that's supposed to be API dot patch. All right. So you call API dot delete. It's definitely and obviously gonna delete the to do. So call API dot patch and let's try this out again. So I'm gonna say Rick leaves add to do. I'm gonna say buy milk. We add to do, and I'm gonna say clean car, and we add to do. There you go. It's working now. We deleted to do. It's gone, or we mark as complete. And there you go. It's marked as completed. So I think that's pretty much it. Everything is working well. If you mark it as complete, as you can see, it's marked as completed. And you can also just go ahead and delete them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned a whole lot of new things. I also hope that you guys like the video. Maybe in the next one, we're going to go ahead and start working with something else. Maybe a chat app using React and Django. Just like I told you guys, we're going to append a lot of application into this one. You know, in the first tutorial, what we worked on was the authentication system. Then this one, we worked on the to-do system using the same application in the next one there's going to be another section where we're going to go ahead and start working with the chat system hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that if for any reason you don't understand anything from the beginning of the course till now do make sure to drop a comment and i'll be there to help you out if for any reason i'm not able to see your comments you can also send me a mail at testfix at gmail.com and i'll try my possible best to also reply you check out the links in the description below Enrolling in one of the courses will really mean the world to me. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, mad love. Peace out.